Bellator Fighting Championships on MTV2, along with Everlast, Greatness is Within, now presents three five-minute rounds, a non-title super fight in the middleweight division. From Caesars, Atlantic City, we introduce first the red corner. At 5'11", he weighed in at 185 and one half pounds. As a professional, 29 wins, nine defeats from Honolulu, Hawaii, introducing Palamico Vitali. And across the cage is adversary fighting out of the blue corner at five foot nine, weighing in at 185 pounds even. Dominant as a professional, he brings 28 victories, only two defeats with one draw and one no contest. From Queensland, Australia, he fights out of Coconut Creek, Florida, one of the top middleweights in the world today, the reigning Bellator middleweight world champion, Lightning Hector. In charge, Dan Mergliata. There now. All right, gentlemen, the center, please. Come on. All right, guys, been through the rules in the locker room. You both understand the rules. You want to protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. If not, good luck, guys. This Bellator Super Fight is non-title. It is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Falanico Vitali versus the champion Hector Lombard. Let's go fight. The bell in round number one. And Hector Lombard is at his best when he starts fast. We'll see if he does that again this time. Falanico Vitali is in the black trunks. Hector Lombard is in the white trunks. Dan Mergliata is the referee. Well, Falanico said, I think Hector might be weak on his back, but we don't know. We don't see it happen. That judo base makes him so hard to take down. People have a tendency to talk about Lombard as a one-punch knockout fighter in this sport. But again, he represented Cuba in judo in the 2000 Summer Olympics. Obviously a black belt in judo, also a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. But also, you know, he throws combinations. He doesn't throw one punch at a time. He throws three and four. He has good combinations when he throws. Not just a one-punch knockout guy. Now, Nico, you can tell here, trying to be elusive, trying to be evasive, use his footwork. Good knee by Vitali on the inside. Lombard just missing with that right hand. The key here for Vitali, I think, is drag Lombard into deep water. Be elusive, be evasive, not fall for that big shot. See how he does in the second and third rounds. Vitali, a very good natural athlete, played football at the NCAA Division I level for the University of Hawaii, where he was a safety. Virtually every ex-college football player in this sport, Jimmy, was either a safety, a linebacker, or a running back. The read and react positions, I think that's why. Very true. Good right hand by Nico. Patient start from both men. Head kick by Lombard, blocked effectively by Vitali. One of the best boxers I ever trained with, a guy named Darius Watson. He was a safety. He goes, watching one person is easy. I used to watch that for, have to watch a whole field. One person is easy. Lombard. Holding firm in the center of the Bellator cage. Just a push kick there from Falanico Vitali. Lombard with the left to the body. Hector having a little trouble now getting inside on Falanico Vitali. Vitali pumping that jab, pawing with it. He's trying to keep, just trying to keep the shorter Lombard on the outside. So many fighters, Jimmy, tell us, oh, if I don't finish my man, I'm going to be disappointed. Lombard is just the opposite. He said, I just want to win. I don't care. People can boo me. It can be a boring decision. I just want to win. Time, time. Uh, hit the top of the cup with that shot. Time called by referee Dan Mergliata immediately. Lombard can now take up to five minutes if he so chooses. Right, you got up to five minutes to check it out, but if you're all right, we'll start right away. Let's see if we can take a look at it here. Didn't look like a dirty shot. I think it caught the top of the cup. Yeah, bang, right on the cup. Aiming for the midsection. It's a little we'll too low. 
crowd reacting quite what? enthusiastically oh, to him checking out his injury. Okay. It was an accident, but keep it up, all right? Please, accidental. Dan Bergliata just telling Vitali it was an accident, fight. but watch the low kicks. No point deduction, time in. I had a feeling Lombard would take nowhere close to the allotted five minutes. Oh, it didn't look that bad. Lombard See, still holding firmly in the center of the Bellator cage. See Nico just loading that right hand shot, pawing with the jab, just keeping that right hand caught. Ready to keep Lombard at a distance. Bellator world champions are a perfect 9-0 all time in these non-title Bellator super fights, including 2-0 for Lombard as he enters this bout. Vitali pawing the jab, throwing the right. Lombard missing with the left over the top. Vitali almost went for a head kick there when Lombard was down. Now he's up against the fence, tasting some of that power. Vitali said he wouldn't be intimidated. The Hawaiian does not look intimidated. No, he certainly does not. And the longer he stays in this fight, the more confident he's going to get. Right hand by Lombard and the left. Vitaly not trying to come in, trying to counter, trying to catch Hector Lombard as he comes in. Come on, guys, let's go, let's go. Call for action from referee Dan Mergliata. Few boos now echoing around Caesars here in Atlantic City. Well, Falonico's got to ignore that. He's got to stay patient. Keep Lombard on the outside. Lombard is at his best when he's moving forward. Such are the expectations of Lombard. It's like Mike Tyson in the 80s. The fight goes past 90 seconds. People say, what's wrong? What happened? <laughs> hey, a true professional knows fights are going to be like that. Sometimes you're going to size a guy up. And again, to reiterate what Lombard told us in our fighter meeting, he doesn't care. He just wants to win. Boo all you want. I am not going to boo Hector Lombard. I'm just throwing that out there. Suicidal, I am not. But that's the attitude that helps you build. Obviously, you have to have a lot of talent and a great work ethic, but that attitude, just win, helps you build a record of 22 fights without a defeat. It certainly does. Vitali still looking to get off with those shots. And Lombard now fainting. And credit the game plan of Vitali. He's waiting, trying to catch him coming in. Right? I got it. Oh, come here, come here. Come here, come here. I'm going to give you both a warning for committing. You guys got to fight. All right, let's go. Moments away from the start of round two of this Bellator Back super up. fight. Non-title in the middleweight division. Falanico Vitali versus the champion Let's Hector Lombard. Round number two. Jimmy on your scorecard. I have it 10-9 Hector Lombard. A very close round, but Hector Lombard taking the center. Landing a little bit more effectively, although neither guy threw that much. Very close first round. Falanico Vitali is in the black trunks. Hector Lombard is in the white trunks. Nico's showing very good defense. You gotta remember, he's a crafty veteran, been around for a long time. Lombard looking for the knee, couldn't find it. Moves away quickly. Lombard showing a boxer's angle there. Big Boxer swing and a miss by Lombard, and another with the left. He likes to go with that lead hook. Low kick by Vitali. TNA Impact Wrestling is now called Impact Wrestling. Hulk Hogan thought he was in control of the show, but someone forgot to tell that to Mick Foley. What other changes does the hardcore legend have in store for Impact Wrestling? Find out Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern, only on Spike. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a pro wrestling commentator. That's about as close as I'm ever going to get. <laughs> Inspired by the great Gordon Soli. Shopping kick there by Lombard. Much more methodical pace from the Bellator 185-pound world champion thus far. Again, Lombard entering unbeaten in his last 22 pro MMA bouts. 21 wins, one draw over that span. His last loss, a unanimous decision versus our good buddy Gegard Mousasi, November of 2006 in Pride. Vitali trying to end that tonight. 
also trying to end the string of a perfect 9-0 for Bellator World Champions, finding success in super fights. But one thing you have to remember is that Nico said, I want to drag him into deep water, but you still have to drown him. You know, you have to do enough to, to, to finish the fight or get a decision. It's not just enough to drag it in the second and third round. Even if Lombard slows down, if you don't turn it up, I have him ahead so far in this fight. He's not just going to quit because it's the second or third round. You've got to really turn it on. Make him pay. Kick by Lombard. Really, what doesn't have what doesn't Hector Lombard have in the toolkit? Olympic judo, black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, knockout power, has the kicks. Oh, good right hand by Nico. Great right hand by Vitali. That's his best punch of the round. All the great weapons of Hector Lombard, Jimmy, but Vitali's still in this fight, but taken down now by the champion Lombard. Nice left hand by Lombard. Vitali back to his feet. You know, Nico says he has the ground advantage, but Jared Hess, an outstanding wrestler, had no success with his takedown against Hector Lombard. His base is incredible. That was the fight in which Lombard became Bellator's first and still only middleweight world champion. A fourth round TKO win due to physician stoppage over Jared Hess June 2009. That was the culmination of Bellator's season one middleweight tournament. Come on, guys, let's go. Let's and a call for action from referee Dan Mergliata. Vitali still pawing that left jab. A kick by Lombard, but blocked by Vitali. The problem is it's a three round fight. Falonico cannot give away the first two rounds and expect to win a decision. Vitali stressed to us, Jimmy that he thought that Lombard would fade, but how badly does he think Lombard will fade? And he's not gonna fade at this pace. Nico isn't pushing the kind of pace that's gonna make Lombard fade. Or anyone fade, at this point. It's a chopping pulled. kick by Lombard. You expect a guy to wilt when you're not throwing any punches at him. That's not an easy thing to do. Deep into the 10th minute of this fight. Lombard really letting his hands low. I don't think that's fatigue. I think that's trying to bait Falonico Vitali in. Well, it's clear what's going on here. Nico's only waiting to land the right as, as Lombard comes in. Closing seconds of round number two. Disquiet from our crowded Caesars in Atlantic City. Lombard misses with the left hand. Ready. Heading Ready. into our third and final round of this Bellator Super Fight. Non-title in the middleweight division, Falonico Vitali, the Hawaiian veteran of the UFC Strike Force and IFL, versus Hector Lombard, Bellator's reigning middleweight world champion. Jimmy on your scorecard. Uh, two rounds to none for Hector Lombard. Not dominant rounds by any means, but threw more, landed more. Falonico has to decide: is it enough to survive, or, or, or am I going to try and win? in this third round and risk getting knocked out. That's the decision he has to make. Vitali is in the black trunks, Lombard is in the white trunks. Jimmy, are you surprised that we're in round three? No, no, not really. Not the way Vitali has been fighting. He's been waiting for that right hand to land. He has been pushing the pace. Hector's a smart fighter. Oh, good shot by Vitali. Yeah, Vitali's a lot more active in this round. Oh, good oh, hand by Lombard. That is it. One punch knockout for Hector Lombard. Man! That right hand, Nico did not know what hit him. Ladies and gentlemen, with a single punch, the end comes at 54 seconds of round number three. The winner by knockout, he is the reigning Bellator middleweight world champion, Hector Lightning Lombard. And Bellator world champions are now a perfect 10 and 0 all time in super fights. Hector Lombard is with Jimmy Smith. I'm here with the champ, Hector Lombard. Hector, an important message. You proved you're dangerous all three rounds, man. Yeah, um, I want to say thanks uh, to Beyond to give me this opportunity. And I want to say, my Lord, Jesus Christ and God, uh, Everlast, Toe to, Stylist Steamer, Steven Frost and Chiles, Street May, La Parilla. Platinum Plus Jury, all those guys have been supporting me all my career. 
What message do you have for the rest of the division at 185 fighting to take you on? I know, I know a guy to, you know, to talk, I, just, I like to do. You know, because even the birds can talk. I don't like to talk, I like to do. I want to ask Beyond to bring all these guys that have been talking a lot, bring it up here, you know, we do the business here. Your champion, Hector Lombard, ladies and gentlemen. The winner, by way of third round knockout in 54 seconds, Hector Lombard defeats Falanico Vitali.